This is a recording for lesson two on addition and subtraction patterns. See over here, lesson two, the essential question. What strategies, keyword strategies, can I use to add or subtract? So right away, they jump into a word problem. On Friday, 1,323 people, so let's just write the number right away saw the new movie at a local theater. On Saturday, 1,000, keyword, more, people saw the new movie. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 100 less people saw the movie than on Saturday. How many people saw the movie each day? Now they go through a series of cutting strips, and here's the reality. You're not gonna do that on a state test. You're not gonna have time. So right away, you write out the number on Friday, and then they show you that your place value, which has been a theme for chapter one and two, is important. So on Friday, they wrote it out 1,323. If on Saturday there was 1,000 more, it would be 1,323 plus 1,000, which gets you that number right there. None of the other digits changed because we were adding 1,000. If that looks funny, it's a zero. Now it looks like a six. It's a zero, zero, zero. Now how do we get Sunday? Keyword 100 less. It doesn't say 1,000. It says 100. So you look at the hundreds place, three, Minus 2 is 1. So this number doesn't change. This goes down to 2, 3. So you can write out numbers. Keyword is patterns. So you're looking at patterns of numbers. But you need to know what more means and what less means. And where this is in the place value chart. So go back to your place value. Remember, you should be able to do this by now. Ones, tens, hundreds thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Let's try it again. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Memorize it like a year ago. So blank people saw the movie on Saturday. We see the number right there, 2,323. 2,323. And blank saw the movie. 2,223, comma, on Sunday. There it is, patterns. So you're either going up or down, just depends where they're at in the place value. Three minutes, let's go to another one. They have another pattern, so a series of boxes, they can do it a number of different ways. Notice this example too. Miss S drew a puzzle on the whiteboard. The puzzle contains a pattern. Solve her puzzle by filling in the two blank boxes below. So you have this number, five digit number, 78,245, you add a thousand. Notice it's in the thousands place. For this one, it wants you to do the same exact thing. You add a thousand. When you add a thousand to the nine, it carries over into the 10 thousands. 78,000, 79,000, 80,000. And it's telling you what to do right there. Now you can go sideways patterns. You can see that they're adding by 100. The only digit that's changing is in the hundreds place. So look. 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus 1 each time. Now over here in the other box, which numbers are changing? 8, 0, 8, 0, 5, 5. For the tens place is changing, and obviously they give you the answer right there. So it's going down by 10. Sometimes it's hard to write and hold a phone at the same time. There it is. Down by 10, down by 10. And then it has everything in here. Each number in the first column is... 1,000 more than the number in the row above. So we see our answer is 80,245. It's 
is right there. And then number two, each number in the last column is 10 more than the number in the row above it. So 80,525 is 80,535. You're only changing the tens place. See that? Perfect. Skip that. Boring. Guided practice, so you can see the problems like this. 1,000 more than 3,872. Notice how it's in the thousands place. None of these digits change, just this one, 4,872. Keyword is more, so you add. This one, keyword is less, so you subtract. Notice how it's 10, so you're looking at the tens place. So it'd be 211. Because 221 minus 10 equals that. So this should be mental math. Then you have a chart. 37,828. 38,828. Did these digits change? No. The only digit that changed was in the thousands place. It changed by 1, or 1,000. See how the 7 went to an 8? Down here, 830,174. It says 100,000 less. Less means you subtract. So 100,000 less, you just only look at that digit. None of the other ones matter. Look, all those don't matter. They don't matter. So if it's less, oops. Ignore that little thing down there. 730,174. Complete each number sentence. So whatever's over here needs to add to over here to get over there. So to get this, you have to add 100. Only number that changed was that. Look at this, 98264, 88264. The only number that is changing is this nine. It goes from nine to eight. It went down by one. How many zeros are left? Just count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it went down 10,000. Then you have more independent practice. You can see that they're all the same. The most important words are these. You need to know what more means and what less means. Less you subtract, more you add. Okay? You have boxes, you have other patterns, but it's all the same exact thing. Okay? You can even go the ladder route, and then of course you go back to the word problems. Here's your homework. Practice those, we'll practice them in class on our whiteboards and our clickers. Here are more sample problems, and then you get to the problem solving, and then test practice. Let's just go to the test practice. Identify the number pattern. So they're giving you three numbers. 2, 1, 3, 4, 4, 2, 0, 3, 4, 4, 19, 3, 4, 4. Focus on the digit or the place value that's changing. The three, four, fours are all exactly the same. The two only changed when it got to this. So let's set this up. None of those change, none of those change, none of those change. So don't focus on that. Key one from here to here is changing. So we already know it can't be that. It can't be this. We're down to a 50% chance of getting this right. Is it in the 10,000s place that we're focused on? No. We're focused on the thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. It has to be this. And just to double check, 20 minus 1 is 19. Okay? Don't even worry about those. Right away, you see that the thousands place is changing. So that's what you should be able to do on the fly. All right, practice up. Later.